So today we talk. <clears throat> Good morning. So today we'll be talking about writing your life story right here on Walk and Talk with Lamont Carey. And today riding with me is my number one co-host, Gangsta. Gangsta. Say hello to the people. Gangsta says hello, people. So write in your life story. Uh so people are always asking. Or, or no, I'm not asking, but telling me. Oh, I'm asking you too. People are always telling me, uh, man, I'ma write a I'ma write a book that's gonna blow the world mind, that's gonna change the world, set the world on fire. Uh I'm a, oh, and I can't wait to write this book about my life because it's going to save so many people. It's going to help so many people. And then I asked, like, uh, you started writing yet? No, 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 not yet. That's why I need to holler at you. I need to talk to you so you can help me uh, on writing my life story. It's a big task. And nobody, in my opinion, nobody is a better writer of your life story than you are. And now I know people that got books out that have ghost writers. And the ghost writers, I mean, it's some really good books. But would would it still be the same story if it was written by... The person that the book is about and not taking anything away from ghost writers because again I've read some fascinating autobiographies on some great people and some people that I didn't even know nothing anything about and they was done very well uh, so I'm not canceling out you getting the ghost writer and and because most of the people that say they're gonna write their life story they say but I'm not a writer I need somebody to be able to tell the story because I can't tell stories. That ain't what I do. I don't know how to write. But the truth of the matter is we tell stories every day, all day. The average person that works in uh, an environment with other people have told throughout from the beginning from when they get up to the time before they lay down. Then told, I think it was... Uh, a minimum of like 50 stories phone conversations stories polite conversations stories work related conversations stories so we tell stories all day long right we have a theme we have a beginning we have a middle we have drama we have suspense we have comedy so Every day of our life since we've been able to talk and effective communication in their lives, telling story, storytelling. So for you that say you don't know how to write or tell a story, you're telling the story when you're telling me that. So some of the things that I suggest, and I'm going to do some workshops, I'm planning to do some workshops on some of these things in this coming year. Uh, so some of the things that I want you to be conscious of about writing your your autobiography, right? My first thing is why? Why you want to write this book? Who is the book for? Is the book for you, or is the book for other people, right? And why? Uh, is the book why do you why do you believe these people will benefit from it you survive cancer you survived being a single parent you survived the war you survived being raised in suburbia suburbia you survived being raised in the hood all of those stories any story that you get you can write about is a good story And so, I just need you to look at the why. And then the why, why that's important because you need the why in front of you at all times 
when you're writing the story so it can motivate you. If you a surviving addict, right? You you was addicted to meth or what have you for 20 years. And now you're clean and sober for the last six. And you just want to prevent young people from becoming addicted to meth, from getting involved in that meth, from coming even close to meth, right? That is your motivation. And so your book, in my opinion, should talk about how you were seduced by the drug. I'm not telling you how to write the book. These are just my suggestions. How the, how the drug tore you down and never built you up. How what you thought was fun was really fun. How uh, people died that you know. How people went to prison. How you lost everything, right? So if you want to educate somebody and prevent them from doing something, you have to make sure you get in those things that made you change, made you stop using the drugs. And you have to talk about the law, why you were unable, unsuccessful in being able to kick that addiction. So, now we got the why. Now, we know the story. And why it's important to know the story that you want to tell, because we have lived a long life. And the one thing about writing your life story, let me mention, I have never written mine, but as a writer, I know uh, I have written about me, though, that when you start writing, things start to pour out you, right? Stuff that you didn't even remember, you remember now. And you want to get all of that stuff into that book because you want people to know you. You want people to feel you. So that's great. If you just, you write in the book just so you can tell the world who you are, but you still got to condense it. You cannot write a book about everything that you've experienced in your life. Because, for example, a five-year-old may be able to write ten books about their life if they want to focus on everything that they have experienced in their life. And the one thing about readers, we want to be entertained. We want a feel good book. We want a book that we can believe in. So if you want to write about your life story, you have to figure out what parts of your life do you want to share with us, right? How how it was when you were being raised uh, with a loving father and uh, a very religious mother, right? So, that may be the opening of your story. How being raised with love built up your confidence, right? And then you want to, you may want to transition. Uh, you may want to spend one or two chapters in that, and then you may want to transition into uh, if, you, if your life stories about how great your life is, your first friend, your your kindergarten friend and how y'all used how y'all became friends and the special bond y'all have and the things that y'all like in common and then middle school and then high school your the guy that you went to the prom with how y'all met how y'all fell in love and now you all went off to college together and right after college you got married and all these darting beautiful three kids and we got this house with this amazing yard and chandeliers and we eat off of gold forks and all that. So all of that is great. If you want to expose us to how wonderful your life is or how bad your life is, but you have to make it entertaining. So you have to give us clips or snippets of your life story and not the whole picture. Because the whole picture is not gonna, may not keep our attention. And the one thing about writing a book, it is said you have the first, I believe, eight pages to capture your reader's attention. And they'll keep turning the pages. But for me, it's more like three pages. And if, if you haven't drawn me in by those first three pages, then I'm gonna put your book down 
and may struggle to pick it back up or may never pick it back up. So my suggestion is, one, you need to know why you write in the book. You need to know who you write in the book for. You need to know what story you want to tell and try to think of when you figure out what story you want to tell, try to, uh, you can try to map it out like with an outline if you went to write an outline. So you can say, uh, as a baby, chapter one, elementary school, chapter two, so forth and so forth. And so if you can, if you know how many t- chapters that you want in the book, because of every topic that you want to cover, and then you can pace it out, right? And then you can, all of this gonna may help you stay on track. And so the first thing is you can do it. You can write that book. You can write that bestseller. And this information that I'm telling you now is not going to make you a bestseller. It may not even get you published. But the goal is to get you to write in that book that you said that you want to write that's going to change the world. Publish it and all that. We might do that another time in a workshop. Uh, so, any questions so far, I would love to hear them. Because the day we're talking about writing your story and we don't have a whole lot of time left so remember if you want to write your story you must make it entertaining and one thing to remember if it's entertaining if you're writing a book and it's not entertaining to you how in the hell you think it's going to be entertaining to me right so that's just like if you write in a love scene if you don't feel like in a love make it move while you writing it then your your love making scene might not be uh, the right kind. Your love making scene might not be the love making scene that's gonna make me feel like making love. And if you write in something that's supposed to be funny, then you should be laughing. If you're not laughing, please know that you are not gonna uh, make me laugh. And the last thing that I want to tell you when it comes to writing your story. Write. Don't worry about punctuation. Don't worry about sentence structure. Do not edit and write at the same time. Because if you edit it and writing at the same time, you may never complete this book. So, when you get to the end, you can go back to that book and edit all you want. Right? read back through it, edit it all that you want, but do not stop to check punctuation, to check sentence structure, you don't even have to check spelling, right? You can come back and do all of that when you get to the end. And so, that is what I have to say today uh, about writing your story. And so with that, I'm going to get out of your head because I ain't going to keep you long. But once again, thank you for joining me. I'm Lamont Curry, and this is Walk and Talk with my co-host, Gangsta. Gangsta. So, as always, comment, share, and stay beautiful, stay handsome. Know that you can do anything that you want to do, but it's going to take you to get up, to make it happen, and I'll be checking the timeline for your comments, and I'll I'll respond. But again, comment, share, tell a friend. If you like this post, I mean, if you like this video, let me know. If you got some things that you think I should talk about, let me know. So until tomorrow... I am Lamont Carey, and I appreciate you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, you can find me at LamontCarey.com. I come to your school, come to your college, come to the institutions, come to your communities. Let's make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be the, let's be the change that we want to see. And that's what Brock said. Later.